How's everybody doing? So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've been thinking about this and I want to create a new part of my YouTube channel that has some talking in it. I've done a few videos here and there and people said they liked it. But um, talking about life, talking about realness, talking about spiritual things, maybe stories, things like that, and incorporating that in my channel, accompanied by music too. So I figured I'll give this a try. We'll see how it goes. And um, I'm just gonna chill, sit back. I'm gonna play a little bit of music. I have my looper, pre-recorded music. And I'll talk about some things and then, you know, then we'll go into playing a little flute song for you. Take a seat here, see how this goes. So, I don't know who knows what about me, but uh, let me turn this down just a little bit more. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, in my life, I am in a position a lot um, where I do. A lot of ceremonies and um, helping others, serving the community with um, some things that I've learned along the way with um, different ceremonies that I do with a lot of the Ojibwe people in the Turtle Mountains and I've done a lot there but you know spirituality isn't something that we can put in a box you know um, you could put it like this the great spirit doesn't withhold her beauty from anybody um, and so if there are spiritual teachings to be had they can be found all over the world it doesn't matter what religion it doesn't matter um, you know what part of the world you're from what um, blood you have in you or anything like that uh, connection to the source of whatever it is that we all come from and that connect us all to each other that can be found in so many different ways and I feel like all religions and all spiritual walks have truths in there and then I think there's also human and agenda type things that get infiltrated in that for various reasons too over the thousands of years these things have been going on but Anyway, I just wanted to say that because I do a lot of Ojibwe ceremonies, but the truth is um, there's a point in our spiritual development where um, you, you surpass all of that. And so I guess what I mean is I've heard a lot of people say that it's good to um, find the roots of your people and where you come from and maybe practice spiritual practices that come from there. And I agree with that. I think that's a huge step but my take on it is is that once you connect to spirit once you actually connect to spirit and you're beyond um, the things of this world and the thoughts of this world that no matter if it's a sweat lodge no matter if it's a particular ceremony from south america from north america from the middle east from um, europe it doesn't matter um, because when you connect to spirit and you enter the garden so to speak that's where love resides that's where peace resides that's where inner peace resides and so i feel like we use these religions these ceremonies these practices to connect to something that is beyond all of this human experience you know and getting back closer to where it is that we come from and so i think that's what we do with sound healing music with our meditations with our practices is to get to that place that i'm describing anyway that was a little side note so i've been thinking about um springtime it's getting close to springtime and um I think of that as rebirthing and again in Native American teachings there's um, 
you know, there's the four directions and that represents many different things. It re represents the, the four nations, the white nation, the black nation, the yellow nation, and the red nation. That's the people all over the world. It represents unity, having global unity. Also it represents um, the different uh, stages of life, you know, like newborn, unborn, um, the children, the adult, and the elder, you know. But it also represents the four seasons. And so as we move around that wheel, there's many things that uh, happen. But when we go to the east, that's where we say that uh, the sun rises. That's where we say the season of um, the spring is. And that's where new things come. And it's like a rebirthing time. And I'm actually going through kind of a rebirthing period in my life right now. I'm going through some changes in my personal life. Um, and it hasn't all been easy. I'm, I've been feeling my humanness lately. And it's not always a, com a comfortable feeling, you know? Boy, I think we all like to feel like we got our poop all together and that everything is grand and great and we're all excited. But what I know is that this human experience has to have all of those things, all of those emotions, all of those feelings. And there's this like idea that maybe I put in my head sometime that I'll get so spiritual that I'll surpass all of that and I'll just be happy all the time. And I do believe in contentment, but that's a different thing. Um, all of these emotions that we have, fear, sadness, joy, happiness, they need each other to survive. And so, you know, when we're in those periods of rebirthing, so to speak, or grieving, or, um, you know, we end up with our face in the mud for a little while, I feel like we, um, that is part of what makes our joy so joyous. That's what, that's part of what makes us grateful for the blessings in our life. And um, it doesn't always feel good to be there. And one of the things I, I was told a long time ago is, is a quote we use in our ceremonies, suit up and show up. And that means that if I'm, if I'm struggling or if I'm not necessarily feeling inspired or you're in those lulls in life, you keep putting one foot in front of the other. You keep um, playing your flutes. You keep uh, using your spiritual tools. You keep um, you keep practicing your practices. You know things like that. Even if you're not feeling that inspiration while you're doing it, because that day will come. Well, you'll you'll celebrate again. And so. You know, that's, that's just a little bit about that. I think it ties in with the season of the spring here. And um, we all have this thing. We think of death and birth and death as like this one thing that happens when we're born and this one thing that happens when we leave this earth. But I feel like it happens in cycles throughout uh, our lives. Many rebirths and many deaths and that our cells are constantly dying and constantly reforming and rebirthing. I feel like in life we have that. And that's about spiritual growth. That's about maturity. It's about growing up, you know? And um, it's a beautiful process. And so in my weak moments, I get to remember that uh, the next phase is coming. The next phase is coming. And I'll be more mature. And I will probably treat myself better. And I will probably treat other people better. And um, if I don't, maybe I'll keep falling on my face. <laughs> but uh, yes, so that's another thing. And hopefully, if you're my age and you're here and you're doing this life, that this dance of life that we all have to do here, that you can always fall back on looking and knowing that I'm doing better than I was yesterday. That's an important thing for me 
is that even though sometimes I feel sad or I, I get the big giant taste of humble pie or if I feel like my ego is being stripped from me, um, I can always look back at when I was in my 20s and boy, I thought I, I was all spiritual and had my stuff all together even way back then. And, um, but there was always room to grow and I continued to learn and I continued to have beautiful, wonderful experiences, but also um, fears and tears and sadness throughout the whole journey. And all of them took me to a next, a next phase of my spiritual development. So, so here we are entering the spring. Maybe we can think about these things and we can think about um, maybe some of the things that we let go at the end of this winter time and moving into spring. What, what is it that we can shed off of us to make us feel lighter? Um, what is it that we're putting around us that um, we're trying to protect? Um, and really being able to be open. And as a man, I'll speak from a man's standpoint, as a man to be open and be vulnerable and not have to have that you know, that guarded ego running the show, you know what I mean? And, and um, presenting to the world that we have it all together and all this stuff. Um, because when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, that is when we can allow that inspiration, that shedding of layers and that rebirthing to happen. So I'll just leave it there, because boy, this one guy, he told me one time, he said, after he did a sweat lodge with me, he was uh, he was an Apache guy. His name is Montez. He's my bro now. And um, after one of the sweats, he said, he said, Miguel, I got a new Indian name for you. It's Long Wind. So I'll leave it there because it's already been 12 minutes. And um, maybe I'll edit this down. Anyway, I'm going to play a song for you and I hope that you enjoy it. And I'm going to use this um, looped track that I have pre-created and I'll just play flute over it. Hope you have a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to share things with you and music and Thank mm -hmm. you.